What's up Sagittarius and welcome to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I'm going to do a look ahead into the new year and I'm going to be using a seven card tarot card spread to do this. Um, so it's really interesting reading and it starts off with the first card as being the main theme of the new year and then some clarifying questions after that for you. So I hope it is interesting and uh, I hope it resonates and whoops, feel free to comment through as I do the reading guys and make sure you like, share and subscribe. I dropped a card. I'm actually gonna keep that one out. I haven't seen it yet. So I'll put it to the side and uh, I'm just gonna shuffle a couple more times here. And then we'll, we'll pick that card up because it, I'm really fascinated to see what this card is because it's gonna show you what the main theme of the new year is. Let me shuffle just once or twice more. I want to make sure we have the right cards for you, Sag, because this is an important reading looking ahead into 2020 for you. Okay, so you ready for this card, guys? Main theme of the new year is realizing that you don't belong in the prison of your mind. You know, um, I think I just need to change this light a sec. One sec. I think that's a little bit better. But anyway, guys, so Eight of Swords, it's... It, it's illuminating that, you know, everything around you, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a product of the way you think. So you'll be able to realize that in order to, like if you're not satisfied with what is going on around you, the place you live, the people that you're with, the job that you have, the clothes that you wear, everything is a response to the thoughts that you're having. So you're going to become aware that you don't have to stay in that thought pattern anymore. You're able to stand up and get up and walk away from any thought prison that you may have put yourself in or that other people could have put you in in past years. So very, very interesting card here. Like this is like the year of your freedom. So the second card I'm gonna pull here is gonna look at departing energies from 2019. This is kind of interesting. So, the Two of Cups, it really looks at being close and bonded to people in your life. So maybe you're gonna break a dependency um, that has been sort of haunting you. Um, and that's going to enable this. You know, you could be overly depending on somebody for their opinion, for their, um, I'm seeing monetary support. And I'm really seeing you guys, it's, it's kind of like, you know, when the, the first creature stood up on its its own two feet out of the primordial ooze. It's really like you guys are coming into this huge power in 2020 and realizing that you don't really need to depend on anybody else because you're so strong in your own right. So I'm not saying that you're gonna like break up with your spouse or, you know, quit your job or anything like that but just realizing that you are your own independent force and it's going to really um it's going to open like so many doors for you so let's see any talents that you'll be expressing in 2020 well this is nice so we've got the ace of pentacles so you'll be able to magnetize into your life at a higher rate you know the ace of pentacles it's obviously a great big symbol of money so once you start breaking free from other people's um, grip over you, and this could include yourself, sort of break this dependency on other people, whether it be emotional, financial, um, physical, who knows what's going on, guys. Um, you'll see that your ability to manifest will just pop, you know, so and that's going to be amazing for you. So let's have a look at future opportunities. You guys have a tower moment coming in here and you can definitely see that with the eight of swords and the two of cups so it's gonna shake somebody's world up and it's gonna put you in a different sort of um, mindset to face the future in a different way you know um, really trusting yourself so this the tower might not seem an, like an opportunity but you know anytime that something ends like this era of and I got the word self-destruction, um, or it's just a lack of self-expression um, and not really realizing your own power. 
um, it, it is going to sort of provide you a different opportunity because you're not going to wake up the same person one day in 2020. Um, it, it's like it's kind of like shedding a skin and coming out fresh and new. I know maybe not the greatest analogy, but there you have it. So the tower moment is going to provide you with um, it's sort of like a new life coming in for you in 2020. So let's have a look at any upcoming obstacles here. Um, so I have the Empress card here. So I don't really see how the Empress is bringing you any obstacles at all. You know, she brings in new opportunity. Um, the only thing is that she's a very soft and gentle person. And you may wish to sort of dampen that down a little bit because I think this softness, the, like this, um, this desire to be amenable to other people is probably what you put put you here too. So like just be careful not to let p people lull you back into any sort of oppression, you know, um, that put you here where you don't want to be anymore. You know, you have a right to thrive on your own. So really just be careful. Um, and people could be coming from a genuine place, but so are you. So being able to prioritize yourself, um, so that could be an obstacle for you, not lapsing into old patterns of people pleasing, okay guys? So let's see how to deal with these upcoming obstacles. This is so funny that we have the emperor because the emperor and the empress, they're like two sides of the same coin where the emperor, he uses really um, deep, analytical thought and he comes from a place where emotion doesn't really factor into decisions whereas the empress she leads with her heart she's very soft you know she's very open and amenable so this is how you counter it when you feel like you're being sort of lulled into that um you know uh, malleable you know like clay for other people you can remember that you have the emperor energy available to you and he's going to go, oh, hold on, you know, I've got things to do here, you guys. You can sort of sort that out for yourselves. Now take care of yourselves for a while while, while I go after my goals, my hopes and dreams here. And there's something that's really stunning here is that you can see that this circle here is the same as the circle in the emperor, but it's much more defined here. It's like you're really coming into a period where you're able to define yourself. So you have a really, really intriguing 2020, let me say 2020, 14 times, year ahead. So let's see how to achieve your dr dreams and goals, you guys. And that is definitely gonna be by putting yourself first with the Five of Swords and holding your sword up high. Um, and you're probably gonna leave some people shocked. Um, in the background here, you can see there's people like, what just happened? You know, but you know, it's going to be people like, well, why aren't you coming to clean my house? Or why aren't you, you know, coming to help me out and make my grocery list and, you know, run all over town and take care of me and put yourself last. So this is going to have, this is going to be how you achieve your goals is really putting yourself first, not just thinking about it, but doing it, guys. So you really have quite a staggering year of self evolvement coming up here. So I hope you really enjoyed this reading and I hope it does help to serve you as you bloom into sort of the highest version of yourself um, coming up in 2020, guys. So have a great year ahead. Take care.